Hey there, so I've been playing around with PowerShell a bit and came across something that I want to share with you. Essentially, it's about how real-time protection affects your PowerShell performance when calling a commandlet or program in a loop. In the background, I'm running a script block in PowerShell 5.1 that calls to get file commandlet for each of the around 10,000 files in this folder and measures how long it takes with real-time protection enabled and disabled. I'm going to do two iterations and then I'm going to do the same in PowerShell 7 where I'm going to start with real-time protection disabled to mix it up a bit. Right now we're running it with real-time protection enabled and it's going to take around one minute. With real-time protection disabled it's only going to take around 10 seconds, which is a significant difference. The reason for this is that the anti-malware service executable takes away most of our computing power with around 20-25% CPU usage and PowerShell being run in Windows Terminal runs at only 7% or so. By turning off real-time protection, the anti-malware service executable is also going to be shut down and PowerShell can run at its full potential, which is around 30% on my system. You can see how I'm switching the real-time protection on and off via PowerShell, which is only possible because I disabled tamper protection beforehand, which is something that I wouldn't necessarily recommend unless you know what you're doing. The same also goes for real-time protection. Only disable it if you know what you're doing and if you trust the script you want to run, or even better so, understand it. You can see that I sped up the footage in the background because I also want to show you that the same applies to PowerShell 7. PowerShell 7 being optimized runs this three times faster at only three point something seconds while real-time protection is disabled, but when it's enabled, and I'm gonna speed this up once again, it's roughly taking the same time as PowerShell 5.1 at around 50 seconds. So I've only tested this on my PC and my laptop, but for me the bottom line really is that disabling real-time protection can speed up loop sections by up to six times when running PowerShell 5.1 and even up to 15 times when running PowerShell 7, which is absolutely mad in my eyes. Well, that's it, I guess. If there's anything I'm missing here, feel free to let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye-bye.